Hey everybody, uh, it's Sunday the 24th of January and uh, I just wanted to go over our recent maintenance we had with our Generac generator and a couple, just a couple facts of what, what's been going on. Um, <laughs> the dogs are barking in the background, hopefully you can't hear that. Um, so anyway, it, I just wanted to cover some things so stay tuned. Okay, um, it's been a year since we've uh, had the Generac generator installed. This is the Generac uh, Guardian series. It's a 22 kilowatt generator. <sighs> the, <laughs> these dogs are driving me nuts. Anyway, um, so the reason we got the generator was because it, back in 2000 actually, we lived in uh, uh, near Greenwood, Arkansas, actually between Hackett and Greenwood on Highway 10. <laughs> Very uh, out there, we'll just say that. It was out in the country and uh, we on Christmas Eve 2000 we had a major ice storm and power outage and if anybody's here from or is listening from Arkansas you probably remember that. That's when the tops of the trees exploded uh, there was there was about four inches of ice and it was just ridiculous you know so Pixie, hey 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 come on over here come here come here get on down there get on down so anyway um all right we got the dogs calmed down just a little bit um maybe so anyway, we were living in, in uh, Hackett, Arkansas. It was very rural, and we lost power from that ice storm for about 11 days. And we had little kids. We had all of our three kids were under 10 years old at the time. So it was we could only get the house up to uh, 50 degrees with the uh, very inadequate fireplace. I mean, it wasn't a very good fireplace. But uh, anyway, we, from that point on, we promised ourselves if we were ever in a rural area again, we would have a generator. And uh, the, the years from 2001 until 2018, we lived in a, a neighborhood that was right next door to a, a power station. So basically, we were almost 100% uh, you know, up with power. I think we had one power outage and that lasted maybe a couple hours, you know, an hour maybe. So anyway, so far this year we've had uh, a lot of power outages. Uh, most of them are maybe for a, a couple minutes or uh, an hour or two. The longest one we had was recently and it was about eight hours and that was overnight so that was you know we all of a sudden the power went out and this baby kicked in and we were able to do everything that we normally do so um, you definitely can hear it running you know every Sunday it does a test cycle at 6 p.m. and we can definitely hear it running for those five minutes but during the you know, extended running <clears throat> period, we did hear it, you know, so, uh, you know, that's one thing to consider. Hey folks, uh, just got back from a, a little uh, side trip over to the dairy to get some compost. So, yeah, so anyway, uh, this, this uh, Generac, um, we had the maintenance come out uh, last Wednesday. Unfortunately, I had to work. So um, he came out and uh, my wife was here and he went through the annual maintenance checkup and I'll go through those points that they cover. Just so that you know uh, what they cover in an annual maintenance contract. The contract's about $230 for a year. So it was, you know, it's very reasonable and there's a lot of stuff that they check and this is alternative power. So stay tuned. What happened? All of a sudden, we got snow. <laughs> well, it snowed last night, and uh, I have to re-record this portion of this video because uh, it was 
uh, it was very blurry, so I just wanted to up the quality a little bit. Uh, so basically, uh, I'll just go over what the uh, what the yearly maintenance includes for the generator. So they checked the AC wiring, they checked the DC system, they inspected the oil level, they did a, f a fuel system check, um, they inspected the exhaust system, they changed the oil and filter, um, they did a cooling system check, they inspected the housing and vibration isolators, um, they inspected and tightened the cables, they inspected hoses, they verified the battery charger operation, the wiring system was checked, they adjusted bolts and tightened hose clamps, uh, inspected the control panel and, and components, they did an ignition system check, and they inspected the air intake uh, and the air filter, the oil filter, the synthetic oil, and um, you know that was done uh, as far as the uh, expendable equipment there. So you know it, the cost was two hundred thirty dollars a year for this uh, yearly maintenance contract, which is reasonable. Uh, you know they, they checked a lot. And it gives us peace of mind that everything is working and, you know, it's been uh, well maintained with our investment. One other anecdote I wanted to uh, share with you. I have a very good friend that lives in Germany and we've known him for about 50 years. And uh, I met him when I was 10. So he was an exchange student at the time. I think he was 21. But... Uh, he, uh, I actually told him about the generator and, uh, you know, the power outages that we have because my brother is looking to move out into the country uh, and get a generator uh, in his new house. So um, we discussed uh, why we would need a generator and he, being in Germany, he said that this is unheard of in Germany, that uh, the power expectations are 99% uptime. And he was, he said that if there was any power outages like we have, there would be a revolution in Germany because the Germans expect a, a complete uh, uptime. Uh, so, um, you know, I don't know what to, else to say about that other than, you know, our infrastructure here is, is older, I'm, I'm pretty sure. And a lot of Germany's uh, power uh, generation is solar. So it's directly on roofs and, you know, closer to the consumption. I don't know, you know, I'm just speculating, but uh, and it's, a, it's a much smaller country. So, um, you know, just a little anecdote there for uh, what to expect. But out here in the country, like I said, we were out of power uh, 20 years ago in Arkansas for about 11 days with little kids. So that's really unacceptable. And... Um, you know, we had 11, almost 12 hours of power outage over 14 months. So, you know, that justifies right there because we had a long uh, outage for about eight hours and it was overnight and we would have gotten cold and we would have basically, when our power, when our generator came on at that power outage, we could see nothing. I mean, normally we see pinpricks of light uh, from our distant neighbors, you know, all the time during the night, but we didn't see a thing. I mean, it was really, really nice to know that we had this, uh, we could do everything we wanted to with our, um, you know, living. So really that's it. And hopefully this has been good information. If it has been, please do a thumbs up, uh, like this video and share it. And uh, hopefully, um, you know, you subscribe as well. So uh, it's a beautiful winter wonderland here in North Carolina. So um, hope everybody has a fantastic week. Signing out.